everyone. This is Shelly with Unique Speech Services. I wanted to come on and post a video showing you how to use Guided Access. Guided Access is a great tool that Apple products have built in. It's great for therapists and parents alike, and anybody who uses an Apple device and has kids or works with kids or anything like that, this is the way to go. So let me get my screen set up and I'm going to show you a few common reasons to use um, guided access and a few other workarounds as well if you need more features than what guided access can provide. So I'm going to share my screen. My um, iPad looks like I have a few kids that have AAC devices and so well, AAC devices are communication devices that help kids communicate when they are unable to verbally. This is just a test um, profile right now, so it's not set up to any one individual. But a lot of the times when you have a child or adult that has a communication device and they find it more fun just to play around versus actually communicate in it, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, Proloquo in itself has a few features where you can make it where they can't edit things and all that fun stuff. But let me show you another way where you can make it where they can't get out of that app or they can only do certain things in that app or have a time limit. So we're going to settings. And then we're going to accessibility. And then we're going to go down to guided access. Here you want to flip guided access on. You can set your passcode. You can do a touch ID. You can set the passcode. Make sure the client child cannot see what the password is or else they'll learn it and it'll become useless. Um, there's a spot for time limits here, but I tend to not use that because it varies each time they have the iPad. Um, you want this accessibility shortcut enabled. This lets you triple click the home button and it activate the guided access. So let's say they, they needed to be in pro loquo and not be able to get out of it to go play a game. So we'll triple click our guided access. Mine was already programmed. So let me go to what it is. And this is what it looks like when you get it started. You can come down here in the options and you can choose whether they want access to the volume buttons. You can turn that on and off, motion, keyboards, touch. And you can also set a time limit here. So if this was a child was going to get a reward for doing their homework or doing their task, you say, okay, you have three minutes to play whatever you want. Here you can set that three minutes and then after the three minutes, it will completely just shut down so they can't do anything else on it. For our purposes today, I'm gonna to turn that off for right now. And then you can also come in here and draw boxes or shapes that you want. So if there's an app they use and you don't want them to have access to certain parts of that app, then you can come in here and you can gray it out so they can't do anything with those. So there's um, on some like play apps or video apps, they have like a store button. So you can just gray that store out so they can't go to it and purchase anything. Um, I have done this with my daughter before um, when she needs a distraction, we're trying to do something. I either just disable the whole screen by drawing a big box and making it fit the whole screen or you can come down here to options and turn off touch and that will gray out the whole screen as well. Um, one thing to note that if you do have little boxes on things, you want to make sure the motion is off. 
Otherwise, they'll just change the orientation and the gray box will stay where it is while the button you're trying to keep them from will move with the page. So that's also something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and start guided access so I can show you. So right now I've got access to all Dude, of the go. different buttons go. except for that settings. And so no matter how many times I hit it, it won't let me. Um, there you go. Um, sometimes if you have it really, uh, look, it's doing it now. Um, a small box around it, it needs to be a little bit bigger so it can't be picked up. So let's go in and make that box a little bit bigger here to cover that whole area. And now, even if I'm hitting around that settings box, nothing is coming up anymore. So that's one option for guided access. You just triple click the home button and it'll prompt you to either do your password or if you have it set up for fingerprint, then you can do that as well. Now say um, you wanted to let the client have a break or something like that and you're just going to give them a game to play. Um, this is where the timer comes in handy as well. I believe this game might have a storefront too. So let's let it load and see what the storefront looks like. And of course, it's going to take forever because it knows we're waiting on it. Let it load. Let's see, make sure I'm connected to the internet here. Yep, okay. Maybe that was just taken to, we'll go to one of the education. And my play home, this is one of my daughter's favorites. Um, this one, she really doesn't have a lot to get into. And so I usually tidy the house to get started. And then you can hit play and then it'll go into the house. So there's not much she can get into here. So if I wanted to um, set a time limit on it and make sure she can't get out of that app by going to the home button, then we will do guided access. And if we want to set a time limit, we'll go into the menu. Maybe my iPad's just loaded it. Go into the menu, and then you've got the choices of what you want them to be able to do. And so we'll do time limit, and you can set the time for whatever you want it to, and that's fine. Um, I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn off the volume because she loves to go in here and turn on the radio and the TV at the same time and blare them. So I'm gonna turn the volume buttons off so she can't adjust the volume. Otherwise she'll be able to do everything else. So we'll hit resume and it'll tell you the time limit. When you hit the home button, it won't go anywhere. It just tells you that guided access is enabled. So you still have access to touch everything, to do everything you want in the app. You just don't have access to that home button or the volume. So the, this is a great tool for apps right now or schools. Um, and their iPad is specifically for communication. And people will take their device and use it as a play thing versus letting them use it to communicate. So this is one of those ways that you can stop that from happening because they won't be able to get out of the app to do anything else.
So that's guided access. Another option that you have to, if you need to restrict different apps or have other restrictions placed on it, if you go to settings and go to screen time, you can have downtime, you can set time limits for apps, communication, always allow, um, and content privacy restrictions. So you can say, okay, I want them to be able to do education apps. The, we'll do ABC or A to Z videos and Topa a doctor and let's do jungle coins. And we can do next. And then we can set a timer so that way they can use these apps for that amount of time. So if we do one hour, then you can change it one hour every day. You can customize days. You've got a lot of flexibility in here on how to add those limits. And then you can turn them off um, or turn them back on depending on what you need. Um, and then you can just keep going in and adding other limits. So schedule downtime away. You can do that as well. So you can do every day, you can customize the day, and then you can set the times. So if you wanna make sure they're not using it overnight when they shouldn't be, or during nap time, or during certain times of the day, then you can come in here and change the times. Communication limits. So this lets them be able to use the phone, FaceTime messages, all of that stuff. You can limit communication during screen time, during downtime, all of that stuff. And then you can come into allowed contacts or allowed apps. And so these are the apps currently that are always allowed. So we've got the phone, messages, FaceTime, map, and app store. If I don't want them to have um, the ability to text or anything like that, I can remove those and that's not a big deal at all. If I want them to always have accessibility, um, then you can come in here and add it and it'll go up there. Make sure you know that these are always allowed even during downtime. So that way, even if it's downtime, they can still access that app. And then you can do content and privacy restrictions. You can turn it on. So you can say what's allowed, what's not allowed. You can allow passcode changes, not. You can also come into content restrictions and change ratings. So music and stuff, you can change it to clean. Um, if you don't want music videos coming up, you can do off. So you can come in and you can change that. You can also do web content. So right now mine is set on unrestricted access. And so you can come in here and do allowed websites only and add in the websites that they're allowed to go to. And that's all they'll be able to visit. So iPads, um, iPhones, they both have this. And so this is a great way to make sure your kids, your clients are being safe while they've got their device and also help them stay on track for what they are using their device for. All right, so that was a quick overview of guided access. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help um, anybody set it up or answer any questions about guided access. I'm not affiliated with Apple. Um, I just really love what they do for the clients. Um, in a future video, we'll go over how Apple has started putting switches in their um, systems. And so now you can use the iPad has a built-in switch for all of their apps and everything that goes with it. You no longer have to buy a separate app, I mean, a, a separate switch to plug into the iPad. So it's really cool. They are also getting to where you can do eye gaze with um, the new cameras on Apple devices. And so they are really starting to open up accessibility for 
for everybody to use their devices. Anyways, I hope y'all all have a great day and we will see you guys later. Thanks.